All right, so this is my first um, story time episode. This is episode one of story time, where I say these story things. Well, um, I, what I was gonna originally do was um, hold off on these until I get a few subscribers, but I'm like, whatever, I'm already telling stories at work, so I might as well tell them now. But um, and I, any, for anything, if I ever somehow blew up on YouTube, I'll just re-upload the video. <laughs> But um, yeah, so in, I, I was at um, work, right? I'm at work. And uh, um, I opened up Instagram and there was a notification. And the notification looked like, it looks like a, what is it? A, a friend request or a friend request? There's no friend request, there's no friend request on Instagram. It looks like, like, look like a notification anyway. So I click it and what it was, was that thing where it says, um, you can upload your contacts to Instagram and it'll find people in your contacts their Instagram pages and I had never done that before so I was like you know what let me just do it anyway so I, I click the button and, and it goes through my contacts and it finds the people in my contacts their Instagram pages so now I'm just like getting like this trip down memory lane because um, my contacts are they, I don't have to keep like keep them they're saved to my Google account so uh, if I ever had your phone number or something I, it's still there I don't I don't I don't stop talking to someone and then delete their number. I just stop using the number. So I found all these um, profiles and I was going down like, oh, who, we? like some people, I'm looking at the, at the pages and I'm like, how in the world do I even have this person's phone number? Like, who is this? I'm seeing like, like I'm seeing some really old people. Like the one person, that, that, for example, one person's profile that I found from looking at it was, um, was a was like a, a a very old lady, and I'm like, who is this? And the, the reason why I knew the person was old because the, 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 person, the, the person didn't have their age on their Instagram. And it's a bus driving by. I rolled the window up. All right, the person didn't have their age on the Instagram, but the person did have um, a picture of their kid. And underneath the picture, the picture said, uh, "Oh, look at my daughter. She's finally 23." And I was like. That girl, your, your daughter is almost as old as me. So I was like, geez, like, so how old are you then? You know what I mean? Like, what the hell? But how do I have the number? That's, I'm so confused. Like, where, where in the world did I cross paths with this person? So anyway, so yes, I'm going through. I'm seeing all the different accounts. Like, wondering, like, how do I know this person? Like, oh, yeah, I remember them. Da, 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 da. And then I, I came across this one girl's profile. And I was like, I completely forgot about her. I completely forgot about her. But it was like the, so the now, so now you're like, so what, why is this, what's so important about her? From the title, you'll already know. But um, I, okay, so this, this is how I met her. Me and my friend were going to our class. We was in school at, at um, college, at university. I don't know what, the, what, what term whoever's listening to this goes by. But um, yes, we're at university go into our class and there's a elevator you can take to get up to that part of the building really fast the elevator literally only goes up to that floor it doesn't go anywhere else um uh, so we go in the elevator and red light we go in the elevator and um and and as we're going in the elevator this this pack of girls comes on the on the onto the elevator with us maybe like like six girls and they come in the elevator and i'm like i i, I audibly make a sound I'm, i go i go Woo! Oh no no! What did I say? I, no, I think I swear I went um I went mmm like like a like mmm like one of those type of noises, and they turn they turn towards me and started giggling and stuff, and I'm like okay I'm in I'm in there I'm they they go that they go the I was testing the waters and then they did that, so I'm like so I'm like so they they come in the elevator and I'm like all right what do I say? I'm, Cause now when I did the when I made the noise. I was just testing it. I didn't expect them. I, expect, I expected someone to turn around and be like, what is this guy making these weird noises for? But I wasn't expecting a, a good response. So, uh, so, uh, they, um, okay. I'm trying to, I'm driving. So <laughs> I'm getting like, distracted, but, um, and they turn where I have to like pause is coming up. So um, they, they, they're on the elevator, I make the noise, they seem to laugh from it, so I'm like, all right, I'm gonna start talking to them. I'm trying to figure something to say now, and then as I'm thinking, the door's open and they get off, and I'm like, oh my goodness. And my friend's laughing now, because he's like, oh, you're trying to talk to one of them? I was like, yeah, the, I'm trying to describe the girl I was trying to talk to. 
I'm like, oh yeah, she's like, she was like, she was real pretty. I was gonna say something to her. Da-da-da. He's like, which one? I'm trying to describe her to him. He's like, oh yeah, she's in my class. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, I'm friends with one of her friends. Me and we all be out, we all go out and stuff all the time. Go to movies, go to eat, stuff like that. I'm like, I'm like, uh, bring me. And he's like, all right. Uh, he's like, oh, but you do you like her? And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, obviously. Like, Did you just see her? He's like, are you sure? And I was like, I was like, I should. When from him saying it over and over again, I should have noticed that something was. Something was awry. But, uh... I don't know why we're all in the slow lane. Whoa. Alright, so, um... So he says... So he says that. And I'm like, yeah, t- introduce me. Put in, put in a word for me, I guess. And, um... So he goes off. He goes on the elevator. Because he's literally going to where the class she just went into. He goes in the class behind her. I leave. At the end of the day, I see him again. He's like, oh, I told her. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, I told her that you like her. And she was like, oh, I like him too. Da-da-da-da. He like, he was funny. Da-da-da. I'm like, I barely even said anything. I'm in there. So then um, uh, I go I go home. We leave, the, we leave the school building from there. And I'm like, all right. So I, I'm, texting him, I'm texting him as I'm leaving. And I'm like, all right, so tomorrow, when, when are you going to see her again? He's like, yo, I, called, I told her, I told my friend to bring her when we go to lunch. So I go see her at lunch. He, we, I go to the, I go to the school the next day. I'm like, all right, I gotta go there. I got like, uh, I got a line of um. I'm getting like weird talking now because the person that pulled up next to me is 100% looking directly in my face. Their car is parallel to my car, and they're just looking directly at me. So um, pretty awkward. But and the the weirdest part would be if they could read my lips. If they could read my lips and tell that I'm talking about them. That would be the strangest thing. So here goes some awkward silence. Actually, no. Um, so, so I'm texting him, and I'm like, I'm like, uh, I'm like, when? Oh, no, 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 texting him, I'm telling him to, to bring her. She's like, all right. I go to lunch. I go to lunch the next day. I walk in the lunchroom, and I see him sitting with the girl, his girlfriend, and her friend. Obviously, I'm, no, actually, when I saw him sitting, I was like, where's the girl? He's like, oh, she's right there, because we both walked in together. And we saw the girl sitting down. I'm like, where's the girl at? He's like, she's right there. And I'm like, huh? He's like, yeah, she's right there. And he's pointing at this girl. And I'm like, who is that? I'm like, and he's like, he's like, yeah, this is the girl. I was like, what girl? He's like, hey, the girl you said you like. I told her this one you told. Her. I was like, I, I was so confused. I was like, I like this. I thought that only happened in movies. I'm like, this, I told him. I'm like, this, that's the wrong girl. I don't even know that. I didn't even. I don't even remember. Someone on a dirt bike just passed me. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, so um, I tell him I'm like, oh, went off again. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm like, this is the wrong girl. I'm like, am I gonna? Ah, I, th- I made it. Alright, so I'm, this is the wrong girl. He's, and he's like, he's like, and he's laughing. I'm like, I'm like, like, I didn't think that happened in real life. But um, so then I'm like, I'm, she already saw me. Like when, when I came in, she waved. And I, so I was like, who is this? I was like, who are, who's this girl sitting next to your friend and waving at me? And then I was like, all right, whatever. I guess I'm over here. So I go and, and we're talking or whatever. And then he's like, yeah, so yeah, after, after um, school, we're going to go to some movies. I'm like, what is happening? Like, what, what I was going to do was, was just sit down, talk, uh, be, be as, as not rude, but like as unappealing as possible. So that hopefully when I leave and I don't off, I don't like make plans or anything, we just stop talking right there. But he's the one that brought up the movie thing. So I'm like, oh God. And then he's like, yeah, we're going to the movies, we're going to see this. And he, then, then he brings up me. He's like, I was about to be like, I don't like that movie. He's like, oh yeah, Dave, didn't say you like that movie? You wanted to go see it? I was like, never looking at me and I'm like, oh yeah. And then he's like, all right, so yeah, so I'm going to go pick you because I wasn't driving at the time. He's like, all right, so I'm going to pick you up and then we're going to all get picked up and go to the movies. I'm like, what is happening? Because I'm like, I'm 100% sure that I have to pay for her. I'm 100% sure that I'm paying for me and this person that I don't even know, I, I, that I never saw before in my whole life. So that now I'm sounding real cheap, aren't I? I'm sounding real cheap, I'm paying for a movie. But like, no, no, I, I would be fine paying if I knew the person or liked the person or, or something the person. But it was like, there was like nothing there. There was nothing. Not nada, nothing, N- not a thing. <laughs> so 
we leave. And I'm like, oh, God, not only was that that awkward and weird, but I'm going to have to see this person again after. I'm going to see them again when we go to movies. So, yeah, so we uh, we leave school, and then he's like, all right, he brings us to the movies. I was completely right. When we went to the movies, what she did was, um, that's saying, it was like, it was, it was straight off the bat, downhill, because when she first saw me, she was like, like kind of shy or whatever, so I'm like, oh, I guess she likes me, I'm going to just be, you know what I mean, because, I don't know, but if someone, if someone just randomly says they like you, or me anyway, and I don't like the person, I don't, I'm not going to string them along, but I, I'm not going to be rude, I'm not going to be like, oh man, fuck off. I don't like you, man. Man, you're ugly. Get out of my face. Because <laughs> you can still be... I, I'll, I'll be friends with the person. So um, I'm like, yes, I'm going to just be friendly with the person. But I'm not going to, like, try and do anything. Like, nothing. Not, not even... I don't... I don't think... I'm pretty sure I didn't hug her when I, when I saw her at the place. But I don't know. Yeah. My memory is, 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 is garbage. But, um... So... So um, we we go into the movies. No, no, no. At, we we're at the at the the concession stand, and she's like she's like getting all the stuff. She's like, oh, I want this. I want this, 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 and this. She's really skinny, so I was like, I wasn't expecting this. She ordered all this stuff. I, th- I think she ordered like like thirty dollars worth of food by herself. Like I didn't even eat anything. I, I didn't. When she ordered that, I didn't buy anything because I was like, I don't know where the hell this is going. Like I'm I'm already spent. I, I only I literally only brought money for the. The tickets, so the money that I spent on her to get this food was money that, that I wasn't expecting to spend, and it was a lot. It's like it, like the tickets were like twelve dollars, eleven a piece, and the food was thirty. So I was like, I paid, I paid more money just for you to eat than I paid for, for both of us to, to see this movie. <laughs> so I thought that was, I was like, was like, wow, that, that was the first strike. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm like right off the bat. You're not, you're not doing justice here, lady, or young, young lady. So then after that, we will see the movie. We, we barely talk because me and her got nothing in common. I'm literally every time I try to start a conversation with her, to to get her to talk, it's like it's like dead silence or yes, no, maybe, haha, <laughs> done. It's like she, it's like she doesn't want to talk. But I'm like, alright, she's just shy, whatever. I know, I'm I'm shy, so uh, I know what that's like. So. So um, so then we we be talking whatever, and then the guy's like, all right, yeah, we let's let's go home now. And then, and then she's like, all right, no, 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 he said let's go home. But then she was like, oh, but you guys can come to, come over to my place. And I'm like, I'm like, what, what? And he's like, he's like, yeah, yeah. Usually when we leave, we go and hang out at her house for a while, and then we go. So I'm like, I'm like, this this day won't end. <laughs> like this 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 whole day will not end. So then we go to the house. We're driving like. For maybe 30 minutes we're driving 30 minutes in a direction i've never been in and we're going zigzagging through like these these woods and these abandoned uh uh vacant areas and stuff like that i'm like where are we going and and then we pull up to like this uh what is, how can i describe it it was like a, a gate like a like a brick gate with a brick like no no don't you know i don't know if you know simpsons but mr burns like around his house is that that it's like, a, it's like a like a brick wall, but then it's like a gate that opens an electronic gate. That that was that was that's what we pulled up to, and I'm like, where are we? And then she she buzzed she buzzed pressed the button and buzzed in, and then she's like, oh it's me. And then the doors the gates opened up. They were they were electric. It was an electric gate that they opened up, and then we're driving up towards the house. Now you can see the house on top of the hill, and and there's horses. There's horses running around, and like like not one horse, multiple horses just running freely around in the in the yard and i'm like i'm like i'm like i'm like why are the horses here are you renting them or something it's like oh no that's my those are my horses like i own them i'm like I'm like this girl let me pull up to the house i'm like this girl has money every time i said she had money i would see something else and let me go you have more money than i thought so then we pulled up we saw there was a, this this huge navigator it's like a like a car it's a, it's a pretty expensive car or at least it was at the time we pull up and see that, and then you pull up. We go into the house, and the house is huge. the The front, the front area, the sun porch of the house was like the size of my living room, all the way into the kitchen. Like just the sun porch was that big, and we went in. Every every room was huge. I was like, this girl is loaded. So I was like, so I was like, I have to talk to her. I guess for some for some time. 
So, um, yeah, actually, no, this, this I'm going to stop the video for now. So, this is part one. Because this is a long story. So, um, yeah, so, get to click the, this is where you click the next part. Alright, peace. Alright, peace. Alright. Welcome to this Team Star video. <laughs> actually, no, it's, it is, it is snowing. It is snowing and raining like crazy. Uh, I was like, I was like, oh, I'll just wait to go get my car. But then I was like, I, but then I saw the snow. I was like, it's gonna get worse. Let me get it now. I went outside to go walk from the building to the parking lot where I parked to get the car, and it was, it was like, it was. I couldn't even look forward because the snow was like, because the wind. It's like, um, I think they said the winds at like, like, like twenty to like maybe I don't know. If, because now that I'm saying it, 60 sounds pretty high. But like it's, the wind is crazy. So the problem is that the, the wind is like throwing the snow around so you really can't see. And then when I was walking, the snow was like, like slapping me in the, like, the snow was like scratching at my face. Like I'm pretty sure I got cut from, from the snow. Like it just, the snow is scratching my face up, man. It was because it, it was basically ice. It was like you get hit in the face with, with ice, little ice piece, ice shards. Whew. But then I'm, okay, so let me do this part now. All right, so so I go and I'm walking. The snow is just destroying my face. I get over to, um, I get in the car and I'm like, my my, all, my whole hand's numb. Is my whole hand completely numb. All my fingers are numb. I can't feel anything. I'm trying to turn the heat on in the car and warm up. I think I took a little too long because, um, uh, for some reason at this place, at this place I work at, when um, uh, when you go to clock out, right? You need you have five minutes, so uh, I have to clock out at two thirty. Once two thirty-five hits, oops. Once two thirty-five hits, and you don't um, and you don't clock out. When you go and try to clock out, it'll say that it'll say that you can't leave. So you have to like go find someone. Like me, I have to go find uh, a supervisor, and not even my own. Su my supervisor can't even do it. I have to go find a different department supervisor, and then ask him to come put his code in so I can sign out. I'm like, what? Like, what kind of nonsense is this? When you switch lanes, it says that um, when you switch lanes it's, or cut someone off. It says that you're um when you go to cut them off, the the person shouldn't have to change speeds. That's the illegal one. But going and then just like going around someone isn't isn't a, a traffic violation. It's if you do it and then the person has to adjust speeds to avoid a, a collision. That's when it's like that. The person in front of me just went in front of me and I had to slow down because like they were not moving. It was like I was going 20 and they were going like 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 six. Six, maybe maybe twelve. Oh yeah, yeah. So um, so I go get my car and I drive over to the front, and I when I pull over, cause usually people they they go on the they go in the street, and like like sit there and then come out and then clock out the cars. I go in the the front of the building, and um, put my car there, run in, clock out, and then get out. There's this guy and this lady. They like I, I just say like it's, you're not supposed to park in the front, right? So let me, let me leave this so people could um someone could give me their two cents. Cause I don't know, maybe maybe some professional will will hear me and then and then give me some proper proper information about this. But the guys like um they're like I don't know, let me slow down. I don't think it's slippery, but um it's just really the the wind and the snow snow falling. You really can't see. But um what I saying? Oh yeah yeah. So you're not supposed to park in the front. Right? The the key word that I'm hearing is park. I don't hear don't put your car anywhere near the front. Like like the front is, is poison, don't bring your car there. That, that that's I didn't hear that. I heard um don't you can't park there. So in my head what I'm thinking is if you go and um if park you know parking, like for, to me the definition of parking is is going going somewhere putting your car down, turning the car off, put it in the park position, and then you go and go do something for, yeah, yeah, and you go and go do something. Me, the car was running, the doors were unlocked, I literally hopped out, 
because no, no, because I'm thinking, because now I gotta say the other part. Before, I think he, this is the second time he saw me do it, because he, that's what you're saying just now. The first time I, I was getting into the car and the car was off, so so they, so they thought that the car was parked there the whole time, like, like it was there for a while, and I had left it there and then come and get it to leave. Today, I go and, um, I go to get the, today, he saw me pull up. He saw me pull up and then, the car was on, running. I had the heat on because it's freezing. I, I hop out the car, and then someone pulls over to me, and he's like, they keep like motion in their hands. So I'm like, this has to be one of them because it's only those two people that say something. He does it again. He does it again. I'm like, I'm like, I, I'm like, I don't understand what he's saying and why he won't roll the window down. And then he's like, he rolled the window down, and he's like, yeah, it's the second time I told you not to park there. He's like, move your car. I'm, I'm calling the police. Park. And I was like, I, no, no, no. He said, he said, he said, move your car. So move your car on the, on the other side. I said, I'm just parking, I'm just, I'm cracking out. He was like, he's like, move your car. He said, don't, don't park your car here. Don't park here. I told you not to park here. I called the police. And I was like, what? Like, what, what the heck is that? I'm like, what the hell is that? I'm calling the police. What the fucking hell? He's like, you're kind of slipping now. He's like, he's like, he's like, I'm calling the police. I'm like, okay, dude. <laughs> I take the car and I just go in. I go, I go in the building because I know he's coming in there too. He, he was parking when he saw me. That's saying I feel like the reason why he was saying that just now is because he wanted to put his car right where my car. Whoa. Okay, let me slow down. I just started sliding just now. I'm about to record my death. <laughs> That's it. When you when you see if the roll is all slippery and icy, you don't know how dangerous it is. <coughs> Jeez. I mean, can't ever be choking. You don't realize how dangerous it is until you slide. So when you're looking to see people like driving slowly, like that person either knows how dangerous it is or they slid. Me, I didn't know it was slippery until I just now slid. I was like, if someone was driving next to me just now, I would have definitely hit them. Let me just slow down. Um, yeah, yeah. So he's like, he's like, he's like, I'm gonna call the police. And then, and then I was like, okay, okay, whatever, dude. I go cap in the car, and then I go in the building. I go in the building, try to clock out. My fingers are like, like frozen. So if the machine, the clock out machine, isn't isn't like registering my finger. It's just gonna keep going error, 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 over and over again. So then finally, I, um, I go away and try to find a supervisor. I already said this part. <coughs> but the thing is, that I didn't say is um, when when I was in there looking for the supervisor to clock me out, the guy, the guy that was just said he was calling the police, I saw him in the building and he was like, he was, he was pointing at someone. And he's like, he's like, yo, you, come here. And I thought he was talking to me because I heard his voice. So I turned around like, oh God, he's talking to someone else. And I guess the other person parked his car in the front too. He was like, He was like, he was like, he was like, you, you park your car in the front, and then, and then I'm like, oh god. But the other guy, the one he was talking to, was another supervisor. <coughs> another supervisor. My driving so slow. Everybody's just flying up past me. I'm like, no, thank you. At least you guys get a, a, a slightly longer um, episode since I'm driving so slow. I'm going 20 miles an hour. This is what the speedometer says. Yeah, like, like they said, the wind is the wind and stuff are terrible right now. Oh yeah, so um, so he's like um, he's like police. He's talking to the other, he's talking to the other supervisor, <coughs> and he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, yeah, you're not supposed to park the car there, and then. Uh, the guy he goes to move or whatever and I'm like I need to get out of this building before this guy sees me because like yeah he he just talked to that other supervisor but I'm not a supervisor uh, I just started working here he probably be like you know what give me a badge don't come back da 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 he could anything but I'm like I, so now so then, okay so it doesn't stop there so then I go to, um I, I finally clock out from the supervisor signing me out with the he has to put his code in 
I go and leave and I see a cop. It's, no, no, no. When I first looked at the door, I didn't see my car. I didn't, I didn't see my car. I thought I thought I parked somewhere else because after I moved into the street, I thought I was like right in front of the door. I looked outside the window and I didn't see the car. I was like, my heart was like, dun, 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 like, I, I, it started going crazy. So then I'm like, oh man. Then I look, I look and I see the cop car. And I'm like, did the cop car, like, like the, but the cop can't tow you, like, they can't, I'm like, how long was I gone? Like, I look down, I see my car. The cop's not in front of me, but he's on the street, on the side where I'm at, looking towards me. So I'm like, oh man. So then I'm like, he's gonna, he's gonna like wait for me to get in the car and then turn the, turn the, the sirens on. I go, going into some water. Whenever I stop talking, just assume that um, that that the road's like dangerous or something looks spooky. So yeah, so so I go and I go in the car and I'm sitting there for a second because I'm like the last thing I want is for the cop to think that I'm running, but I'm like. What do you even get for this? Uh, uh, what do you get for... Um, the road is horrible, man. I don't know which way I want to go because I have one route that I take to get home and it's right where I usually turn the, the, the vlog thing off. Come on, man. I got here before you. That's the one time where a bumpy road actually feels good because when the road's all broken up, the, you have better traction because the wheels, like, you know what I mean? It's like, it's something for the, the tires to grip on. I don't realize, I don't realize, I don't understand why people don't um, get, uh, uh, what's it called, dirt tires, or like, you know what I mean? Those type of, those type of big, big truck tires, like, the, 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 the ones that like pickup trucks have I would like have a Lamborghini with like these these off-road tires I don't, I don't think the snow I don't think it would help in the snow right or like ice anyway it would probably help in the snow but not ice alright so he does that uh, I, I'm all over the place I go into the go into the car and I'm waiting for the cop I'm like okay he's not moving then I slowly start going like, maybe he's not looking maybe he's not in the car I go and I go around him and I'm like and I turned the corner and nah, I started speeding to get away. I was like, you're not coming after me. But oh my goodness, the guy was, was serious. He was like, I'm calling the police. The hell? We got to park like three blocks away from the building. And then clock out. Hmm. I don't know. But yeah, like the snow, man. Oh man, oh man. You see now, I'm, okay, so I think I'm gonna go the, my normal way. Just because um, I don't wanna be next to other cars <laughs> right now. And cars don't usually go the other way. Yeah, man, like, jeez, like. When, when you slide, it's the scariest thing in the world. It's like, because it doesn't make any sense the way the car is moving. Like, I was sliding, and then I went to go brake just to, to, um, to stop, and I went to the left. Like, I wasn't even turning. Like, I, I, I could have, I, in my head, my wheels were straight. So to, um do that, I was like, what the heck? What am I going to do when I get home? I'm going to watch, and I'm going to play Monster Hunter. Okay, so yeah, yeah, I forgot. Um, <clears throat> I was going to say, uh, no, 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 wait, let me just stay that part. Um, the, the girl now, so the girl at work that I like, um, 
he was like, my friend was like, oh, just tell her, da 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 da. I'm like, you know, let me, let me tell you the reason why I would, I would never do that. Like, never again. I used to do that when I was little, when I was younger. It never went well because here, here's what's gonna happen. If you if you tell somebody you don't tell somebody that, that you like, what? If you tell somebody you like them, unless you know you know I'm, I'm gonna no no. If you tell somebody you like and it, that you like them, and the person doesn't like you back, you just threw them in the most in the most uh, awkward situation on the planet. Like that that. Are you gone? You threw them in the most awkward situation on the planet. Because it's either what the heck is going on here? Yeah, oxygen rich on the planet. Because it's either the person's gonna gonna uh, say yeah, I like you too, or they don't, but they're not gonna say it. Like I can't imagine like someone being like, oh, I like you. The person's like, I don't like you though. I'm like okay, and you just go about your business, and nobody's acting weird anymore. Everybody's talking normally. I can't imagine. I can't imagine that happening. It'll be uh, it'll be so awkward. I should have just went through the red light. Yeah, it'll be so. I didn't go through because I've been going so slow. Like it would have been the most slowest traffic violation. Um, yeah, yeah. So I was like, like that'll be the that'll be the worst part. Is that it's gonna be completely awkward from then. And then I was like, if you do go out and you're talking or whatever, and it doesn't last, or like you guys like break up or whatever. You know how weird that would be? Like, especially, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe if you guys are like, good friends, maybe, maybe if you guys were like, while you were going out, you were like, best friends, you are like, talking, burping around each other, farting around each other, like, like that type of people, maybe then, when you guys are finished, you would, um, be able to, like, talk regularly with her or whatever. But I can't imagine, um, yeah, I can't imagine it, it just being, like, like, it, I can't imagine it being exactly how it was before you guys were talking. Like right now, like me and the girl, we we barely talk because I'm kind of shy anyway. I'm, saying, I'm, I'm still, I, even though I'm doing this this talky thing, I when I see her, I can like say something, like I can say a, a sentence, but I just need to carry it on. I, I I don't know how to carry, like force the conversation to keep going because it'll be like da da da. Then someone will say something, and the other person just has no, um, like, no idea what that is or, or what. Like, like, she was saying, like, TV shows that she watched, and I was like, I was like, uh, like, I, I should have, like, I'm saying, like, I feel like it's my job to um, try to get her to talk because um, I'm the one that likes her. You know what I mean? Like, it's not her job. To, she, she's the girl here. She's just a, she just has to be, be living. <laughs> I wish I could turn. I wish I could turn. Oh, thanks. You guys got the whole ride to my house. It's because I couldn't turn the music on. What the heck is in front of me? Oh. This car in front of me has like the weirdest damage. Or not, or maybe like paint scratching. The car is white. But the there's like there's like parts of the paint that are off, and the parts that are off are black, like completely black. So they look like holes. Look like the car has holes in it. I wonder if my brother's gonna tell my mom to pick him up. I don't even like that guy. Like I bought a whole PS4. I bought a. I, so remember I had my own PS4. I bought another one so that. Me and him wouldn't have to split screen anymore. We could just play full screen. And you would think a gamer would be like, oh man, I can finally play all these games. Like now he could play Destiny because Destiny is a um, co-op game, but you need another PS4 to do it. I get that. Like all these games, I bought like, um, I bought The Division. I had Destiny already. And um, uh, what is it? Ghost Recon and Dying Light. So Ghost Recon. Ghost Recon, The Division, we already had Destiny, and, um, yeah, so basically I bought a, bought a bunch of games for me and him to play. This guy, he's, he, he doesn't, ever, whenever he's in the house, he'll, like, he'll go play on the computer and play with his friends on the computer. If, if he's not on the computer and he's not, um, if he's not on the computer playing, then he's, he's not even in the house. He's outside with his friends. So it's like, it's either he's outside with his friends 
or he comes in the house and he's with his friends, or he comes in the house and just goes straight upstairs and doesn't like doesn't um play the game at all. So like, I have I literally have the PS4 for no reason. Like I just had two PS4s. So yeah, there's that. Anyway, that's the end of this. Let me see what time, like how long this was going for. How long this yammering was going on. Oh, 20 minutes. Well, peace. Well, peace. Well, peace. Hello, welcome to this episode of the Rooster Teeth Podcast. This episode is brought to you by Squarespace and Sherry's Berries. <laughs> All right, so this, um, so what's the date? Today is, I don't know, you know what I just realized? I don't have a way to start these. It's 2.40 p.m. and it's March the 3rd, yeah. It's the 3rd of March. Um, yeah, so, um, so what happened today? All right, so, whew, today was, today was, today was fine. Today was actually pretty good because if you remember the last one, if you heard, the, I mean, you had to hear the last one because these are all connected. Unless you somehow turn this, you click this video, and then you skip to this part. But um, I wasn't going to come to work today after the guy upstairs called called um, the policia. <laughs> but I, I remember that today is the weekend, so the people in the office aren't there, so he's not going to see me. All right, so 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 what happened today? Today was today was th- okay. In the beginning of the day, I was so tired. In the beginning of the day, I was um I was thinking this I was thinking this thing that wait like how 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 can I say this properly? Mm, I was thinking this thing that the the most annoying thing oh yeah yeah the most annoying thing is liking someone that you don't know right. Like it's a match you don't know. Why is that? Because there's only two things that could happen. Actually, there's three things that could happen, but there's two highly likely things that'll happen. The f- Jeez, I'm gonna choking. <laughs> yeah, the first thing. Actually, I think I have candy. The first thing that'll happen is you like the person, you don't know them, you get to know them, and it turns out you don't like the person. Like. Like there's someone like there's another girl at the um at the at my job place that I used to like and I was like, Oh, I need this person da, da, da. But now I see her every day and she works right with us and she's like I don't know, she she's she's anything will make her mad. If you get confused at something, she'll be mad that you're confused. If something is getting her confused, then she'll get mad from that too. So you have two ways where you can get yelled at. But um, but, um, yeah. So that thing. The second thing is, you and the person, you and the person can talk. This candy is so good I can't even talk. <laughs> it's a um, a high chew, a high chew candy thing. It came in a pack. Like, I think I got it from. Uh, <coughs> I think I think I got it from. Um, I don't remember. But uh, so, uh, yeah. So so I seen her every day, and, and then I, it turned out she's not. She's like, she's she's. It seems like she's a lot of stress. If you were like, if you were dating her, it would be stressed every day, constantly. Yeah, get off of that one. Here, here, this is what I'm talking about. The girl now. Ugh, I wish I could just swallow this thing. Um. The the girl. Today I went in the building, right? And I saw her, and I said hi, and then I saw her again. I said hi again, and then the third time I saw her, and I said it again, and I was like, hold up. Every time she comes past, I'm gonna say hi, even when I like. When we do the paperwork. Whoever, um, I think I have to wait until I finish this candy before I can talk. So I hear some chewing. Oh, 
All right, so whoever does the truck, you have to um, take the paperwork off for the stuff, bring it to the office. So my idea was, if I see anyone doing it, I'm just gonna go over there and help and help them, and then turn the paper in so I can bring it to her. You see, exposure. The problem was, every time I would go over and um, bring the paper to her, I would I would just freeze up and not have anything to say. So then what I started doing was um, writing smiley faces on the on the papers. And I think I did that maybe for like three or four days. But then she wasn't she didn't say anything when I was doing it. So I thought she wasn't noticing. Until one day I didn't do it and I brought the paper in. And as soon as she got it, she was like, oh, where's my smiley face? And I was like, what? So she noticed it. So I was like, yeah, that's the thing. That, that's my level of... Um, What's it called? Is it is it called spitting game? Spitting game, macking. Talking to girls. I don't I don't, I don't know. But um, so I go and do that, and I go and do that. I literally pick, I'm, wait. So just so you know, you can't see it. I picked my phone up, and now I'm like holding the phone while I'm talking, so that people at least know I'm talking to something instead of talking to myself. All right. So yes, I used I was doing that. So then I was like, this isn't going anywhere, like these smiley faces. So I was like, I was like, um, uh, don't go in front of me. Okay. Yeah, whoa, it got went straight through the red light. <laughs> All right, so I'm like, I'm sitting there and I'm like, um, this isn't going anywhere. I gotta do something better than this. So, uh, this guy is crazy. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, um, I'm like, all right. So when I see her, when I see her, I'm gonna say something. I'm trying to think of something to say. I'm thinking all day of something to say, and then I'm like, I can't think of anything. And then I'll, cause she, she's always like walking around. So I'll see people talking to her, and then there's, there's like two people. There's like my friend and this other guy, and whenever they're talking, they're like really loud, and they're like, like, like you know what I mean? Like, like they say whatever they want. They ain't afraid of nothing. Nobody hearing what they're saying. Nothing like that. So I was like, um, I, was, I gotta start being like that. Because um, people think that, um, oh, you gotta look a certain way or dress a certain way to talk to girls or talk to anyone, even if you're a girl talking to a guy that you like or something. The, but then I, 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 I keep forgetting that it's not that. What, the thing that works is when you're confident. That's why you'll see, that's why you might see like a really, like really, really good looking girl with like some regular ass guy. Like I've seen it so many times. I seen it I seen it you can see it all over um all over Instagram and everything. You'll see like this this these models or whatever and then like these regular looking guys and you're like you're like I I think I dress better than him and all of this but then you're like she probably like him because he's funny or, or he talks and, and makes her laugh or whatever. So then I'm like I'm like, that's what I gotta do, that. I gotta, I gotta be wild and crazy. Or at least, I at least gotta talk. I at least gotta do stuff so that, um, to show that I'm like, like not all nervousy. Like, because the thing about, the thing about nervousness is, yeah, in the beginning, the person might be like, oh, he's so shy, that's kind of cute or whatever. But if, if she's not gonna, um, lead it on or start something and you too nervous to start something nothing's gonna happen like you, you guys are just gonna both be smiley nervous people towards each other so then I was like alright so I gotta do it I gotta be the the aggressor in this situation so with, what I did was um, I seen her come out the come from the office into the warehouse and I'm like I'm like, I'm like, I'm like what's the worst that could happen so I see her come out the office and I start blowing kisses at her like 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 doing the thing where like you, you put your hand to your mouth and then you blow out like that. And I do that and she sees me and just, and like, I'm thinking in my head, this can either go so bad or, or, or good. And she sees me do it and she starts like, like smiling, like, 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 like smiling times 10, like, like perma, a perma smile. And I'm like, there we go. The only thing that could have been better is if it's just, she did it back. But I was like, Let's let's work up there because apparently, I think that people said that um I'm not sure I'm not so sure but I didn't hear, ask her 
but they were saying that she has a boyfriend. So I'm like, so I'm like a a, a home wrecker <laughs> or something. But like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they talk about that part then. Yeah, apparently people say that she has a boyfriend. So I'm like, they're not married, right? It, 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 I feel like I feel like I just I just turned into a, a scumbag. But I, cause I didn't used to always think like this. But um, I feel like everyone else thinks like this. Like they'll be like, oh. She has a boyfriend or something, but like she's not married to the guy, so you know what I mean. I mean, I, I understand like uh, if you're like in middle school or high school, being married is like real weird. But like we've been out of school for a while now. If you're really talking, to, what the hell is happening in front of me? If you're really talking to someone or or you guys are serious, it's, there should be some type of thing there besides boyfriend girlfriend. I don't know. That, that's how I that's how I look at it. But um, yeah. So. So I'm not, yeah, because now, now someone's going to hear this and think I'm a piece, of, a piece of shit. No, no, no. I just want to be friends with her, even though I do like her. But friends, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm leading with friends in mind. Friends that you like. And then uh, she can stop whatever's going on with, with this, this, this random guy that, that apparently everybody knows about. Yeah, I didn't even realize. I just, I just, it just popped up in my head again that she has a boyfriend. But like you'll see it. Like once now that I said it, if you if you if you're watching this and you know someone that's that has a boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever, look at how they act to other people that like them. And you're like, because because when me when I'm when I'm talking to someone, I don't talk to nobody. Like like if the person does some type of flirt and stuff, I'm not doing it back. Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. I'm not even gonna encourage it. But other people or not other people, but I'll see people. Someone will do something and the person does it back, or they're like, like, like tickling each other, or, or grabbing each other. And so I'm like, I'm like, like, don't, aren't you? Isn't, isn't your boyfriend right there? Like, like, like I'll see this. Now, now I'm really like talking about people's business. There's this one girl, and her boyfriend works at the building with us. Like I see him every day. But there's another guy there, and those two um, talk to each other. Those two talk to each other. And whenever her boyfriend isn't there, she's like, like she's like, 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 hugging the guy and jumping on his back and this and that. And I'm like, um, uh, I'm like, I guess this this is 2018, and I got old man brain, or like I'm living in the in the, the 2000s. Because this 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 uh, male driver is driving crazy, the post office guy. Yeah, so like like that's how I like I don't know I don't know I don't know. Yeah. So there you go. Now, now people really have a reason to leave a comment. You, if you got through this whole thing. Because, yeah, these are pretty long. But I didn't do one. I, I'm not sure if I did one yesterday. I, I, I don't think I did. I probably did. Yeah, I think I did. I think I did it because I, I got to the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um... Yeah, like... Now... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then... So I thought I did the, the thing, the, the blew the kiss or whatever at her and she was, she was smiling. Now I'm like, I have, to, I have to lean in. The thing that I don't want to do is, yeah, the, the, thing I, the thing I don't want to do, I don't want to, you don't want to tell someone that you like them. I think I said this already because there's only two, two responses, no or yes. And if they say no and you said that, it's done. But if you, if you just just talk to the person and be friendly with the person and then see if the person likes you before you say anything or before anyone says anything, then I feel like that's, that's way safer. So that, that's how I'm playing it anyway. I, I'm going to do it that way. I'm going to not say anything and then, yeah, yeah. Hopefully take her out somewhere, even though I don't like going outside. But I, I'm, I'm going to assume she doesn't want to go and play video games or, or watch anime. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, I'm at the place now, so peace out. E Squidward, E Squidward, E Squidward. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna start off all of these with um whatever the first thing that pops up in my head. Whew, so what was today? Today was, um, oh no, 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 let's start off at the other part. Let's start off at the, um, the last thing. Turning into traffic. All right. 
Yeah, okay, so um, what I do is, when I'm at work is, I'll, it's like I was just suffocating. I just took a, like a, a huge gasp of air. All right, so yeah, what I do when I'm working is, remember, I have my forklift and I unload trucks, right? But what happens is, okay, but my car's faster. What happens is, I'll offload a truck. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I get, take the forklift, and then I go to it, go inside the truck, take all the stuff off, and I put it down. What happens is, some of the stuff, like, we know exactly what's in it, and we know whatever, you know what I mean? So, um, so, um, uh, it, it goes, it comes out the truck, it comes out the truck, and then you put it down, and then someone else comes gets it. Other things come off and we don't know what's in the box or what or what that thing is or what the material is or whatever. And those have to go through the x-ray machine. Right? So today, but the paper, usually what happens is I'll get a piece of paper and the paper will tell me what goes, and it has to, what has to go through the x-ray machine. Because it's, it's, it's a whole different place I have to bring it to. And then when you bring it over there, everyone that sees it knows that it needs to be x-rayed. So don't take it or don't um, move it. But today, when I got the paper, it didn't say, it didn't say whether or not to um, bring it to the x-ray machine. And I wasn't even paying attention because what's supposed to happen is the guy's supposed to come in, that someone's supposed to direct him to someone else and then they're supposed to check the paper and then tell me, no, 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 no. They check the paper and then say whether or not it needs to be x- x-rayed or, or is it okay to go. And then they give it back to him and then he gives me the paper. So remember, so he has the paper, he gives it to someone, they go and check it, then they give it back to him and then he gives it to me. This guy comes in the building, I, I, didn't, I wasn't paying attention, I didn't see him, but, but I, just saw, I just saw that he was there, right? And he waved for me to come towards him. I come over to him and he's like, all right, here you go. And I was like, uh, and I, I took the paper and I started unloading the truck. I didn't, um, didn't. so that's it. It's, it's weird, because I don't want to say something that make it seem like I'm incriminating myself. But no, he's supposed to go to someone else first, and the guy's not new. I'm I'm newer than him, so and he's been here. He he comes here maybe every other like every day or or every two days or even at the least he comes once a week. So like he does it every time, and he's been doing it for maybe like at least like a year or something. You know what I mean? Like like I recognize the guy. I've seen him before. But he came in and he skipped the line and went straight to the to the waiting thing for us to go. For us to go help him, and then I'm like, so yeah, yeah, so I did that, and then everyone, and after I took, took all the stuff off, and everyone took all the packages and moved them around, and then I brought the paperwork into the office. Then the lady was like, "Who's this? Like, who's this guy?" And then they're like, um, they're "Like, oh, he never came to us." Da-da-da-da-da-da. Whoop. Yeah, like that. So then, this truck driver next to me. It's so spooky, I'm gonna slow down so you can pass. So yes, I don't know. That, that, that probably wasn't even exciting to say. <laughs> but um, yeah. But then, they, but then they checked the papers and stuff because the, the part, the reason why they were like, like nervous with it was that it needs, if something needed to be like x-ray, like I didn't know what it was or whatever, and it went onto a plane or something, it moved, it moved and it, it, no one knows what's inside that box. But, when they checked all the, because all the packages have um, documents with them, all of them were or okay to go. Like everyone, everything was already checked at the at another building before it came to us. So, yeah. So I was like, woof, like, geez, like, yeah, yeah. Like, all right. So anyway, just get past that, past the garbage part. All right. So today, so then so I, I, now the, this part is not that I don't want to say. I have anything that I don't want to say. I don't want to say someone else's. This person, what the heck was that? I'm not sitting behind you. Cause you seem like a slowpoke with your crazy ass hair. All right, so, so I'm sitting in the, all right, all right, yeah, yeah. So I don't know why I start off everything, I start off all my stories with I'm sitting in somewhere. So, um, yeah, so, I, so people were talking about the, I don't know, cause now it's, spread, now it's starting to spread like wildfire where everyone in the building knows the person that I like. And then the, yeah, where everyone in the building knows the person that I like. 
which I don't, I don't think is a good thing because I don't want them to hear it from someone else. Even even though even if they did hear it from someone else, then they might like, think it's a joke or whatever. But um, yeah. So now another person knows. So now there's like like every I think everyone in the warehouse knows. So yeah, there's, there's that. She I didn't see her today. I thought she was gonna work today, but I forgot that she comes in second shift. So she's coming in now as I'm leaving. But yeah, I don't know. When when I'm talking to someone, I feel like if I, if they see me too much, they'll get tired of it. Like. Uh, that's all I see. I feel like I feel like they'll get um, they'll get tired of seeing my they're like like oh god this guy again every day I see this man you know what I mean like if you if you have your favorite food even your favorite food or something if you eat it every day it's not gonna be your favorite anymore so yeah that, that's that's why I also think about the whole if you if you're talking to somebody that you work with I'm like you see each other at work you guys leave and you see each other at home like it's every you wake up see the person you go to work see the person you come home see the person. So I don't know, like, I guess that's why that's not a good idea. But, um, yeah. I thought the person driving next to me was a man. But he's driving like a psychopath. Yeah, they, they, they like, <laughs> people are like driving in the, what's it called? What, what is the, 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 the road divide thing? It's just silence. No, no, actually you're probably just hearing the wind. Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. Like now, now I'm at the, uh, um, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be saying. But um, yeah, but people were, people were talking. And I, I, I was saying like now it's like, I can't say, anything i can't say anything everything all the information that i that i have in my head or that i heard or that anyone said today is like um is is all too much information or too much too personal if too much personal information but um yeah so that's all i got i got a bunch of personal information about the girl and this no no but yeah she did say okay after this part they were saying that um they were like See, and now, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, so she she has a kid, I don't think that's a personal thing, I'm, trying to, I'm really trying to think, like, say something over and over in my head and make sure it's not personal, but, um, she had, the person has a kid, and, um, I have to make, I have to go in the other lane, I'm in, like, the wrong lane, I'm gonna be stuck here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Like the way the traffic is, it's like it's almost impossible for me to cross over. Ah, uh, you dipshit. What the fucking hell? The person was trying to go around me, I think. This person's license plate is like a piece of paper. Their license plate is literally flapping in the wind like a piece of paper. Oh yes, yeah, so, okay, so. So the person, the so she has a kid, and she she was in a relationship with someone, and the person definitely is in jail. But I'm like, oh my goodness, like, like, like all this, all this, 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 all these. Uh, what is I wouldn't say I wouldn't call them. Um, I wouldn't call them uh, like signs to not talk to the person. But those are definitely. Um, things that you gotta look at be like hold up like you, that make you stop and think yeah so yeah so it's like there's like like three things i'm like uh but yeah she, she seems like a like a like as i don't know her i said you can't really say oh i want to um marry this person or whatever you don't know the person like i, I couldn't tell you one thing up yeah i could tell you one thing but um i couldn't tell you yeah, well, if me and her even get along or anything, you know what I mean? Like, or if we could even have a conversation. A lot of people at this place are married and stuff. That's that's crazy. That's crazy. Like, like every time I every time I hear someone say, "Oh, are you married? You have kids and all this," they'll be like, "Yeah, I have kids." And I'm like, "What? Like you? I, like I thought we were on the same page here. <laughs> like everybody has kids. Everybody married. 
or something. Everybody has, everybody here has something, something crazy going on. Like, like what? I don't know. And I'm over here just bumming around. <laughs> I couldn't imagine what I'd be doing if I was like married or if I married her like this this isn't they're not like I I couldn't imagine her hearing any of this and she would definitely think it was crazy that you're a psychopath like if 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 someone hears you talking about them like I don't think I talked about her every day but for as any amount of time as I talked to as, as any amount of time as I've talked already about her and I didn't say anything to her like That'd be crazy. You, you definitely the person's a psychopath. But, uh, yep. So there's that. I didn't know today was Sunday. That's why I didn't know that she was off. But yeah, that's what I was saying. I was saying she's off today and uh, she's off in the morning. She works in the afternoon. So I didn't even stop to think that she's at church right now. Like she's like a, she's like a goody goody. Maybe I'm going to assume, I'm just assuming that she's at church right now. But, uh, yeah, so so now I'm thinking if I was talking to her and I was off on Sunday in the morning, I would 100% have to go to church now. <laughs> so, yeah. Peace. Peace. All right, so... So, okay, so let's start off with this. Piracy. If you, um, if you steal movies, right? If you steal movies or music or anything, video games, anything at all, then, um, I don't think that that's a, that's a, I don't think that's a bad thing, but hear me out. Okay, so wait, let me, let me get on the, on the regular street. So I can think properly. Silence, dead silence. And now it's like if I do it, I, I hear it. I can hear the quiet. My cup almost fell. Yeah, all right, so this is what I mean by that. All right, so let's say this. Let's say you steal, because I don't know, people, it's either you, for me anyway, it's either you, you understand where the person's coming from, you don't care where the person's coming from, you already have your own opinion, or you 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 understand, but you still don't like it. That I like that one. If you're gonna if someone's gonna disagree, at least be able to um hear out the other person's side of the argument. But um alright, so let me give you an example. Let's say someone let's say there's a person and they go to the movies once a, they go to the movies once a month, every month, like religiously, once a month, every month for a full year, 12, right? So there's 12 times you went to the movies. Now, so let's say they spent, I don't know, let's something, something easy. Let's say it was $10. So 10 times 12, 120. So they spend $120 to the movie companies to keep making those movies, right? So they're really helping the, the movie industry out. They're paying all this money, they're paying 120, helping them out. But now on the, the flip side, let's say during that same exact year, a different person went to the movies zero times a month for a full year. Like me, I, I go like years without seeing anything, like, th- like nothing, like I don't care. I, I actually don't like the movie theater. You say, you're saying why do I like the movie theater? I actually hate the movie theater. I hate the movie theater, especially, the, let me roll the windows up. I hate the movie theater, especially the day a movie comes out, because you're like, oh, there's new movies out. I want to see it right now, as soon as possible. That's literally, to me, the worst time you can go see it, because it's going to be packed. Everyone's going to be talking, making noise. Um, uh, the, okay, so last time I was at the movie theaters, I was going to see, um, what was it? It was, it was The Purge. The, the Purge something. The one with um, the president lady, where it was, it was supposed to be Hillary. <laughs> I swear it was supposed to be... Um, Hillary running for president, and then the, yeah, so I don't want to spoil it, but yeah, the one with Hillary in it, so, so I do, um, I go and see that, the, 
we ordered the seats, ordered the seats. We, we, you could book your seats early. So you booked your seats early. The seats that the, the seats that I wanted were already booked. We go into the movie theater, we sit down. The, the seats that I wanted to sit in were right next to me. So I was like slightly over to the right. Then I wanted to sit dead center. Those two seats were already gone. So I sit down right next to those two seats. I'm sitting there, the movie started. It, the movie's been on for maybe, let's pretend the movie was two hours and 30 minutes. The, the, those two empty seats were empty for the first hour and a half of the movie. So towards the end of the movie, the people that brought those seats finally show up. Let me make sure this is recording. I didn't even check. Okay, it's recording. Yeah, yeah. So they ordered, the two people that ordered those seats, they, they haven't showed up for the first one hour and 30 minutes of the movie. They finally show up. Who are these kids? They're literally kids. The, it, the, 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 this is a rated R movie, and it's... I think like maybe 10.30 at night on a Tuesday, like their school. It's, it's a Tuesday, it's 10.30 at night, and there's these two kids that, that show up for, to see this movie. They come in, and then I'm like, okay, so now I'm just being like, what, ageist? I hate kids or something? No, 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 no. They did exactly what you would expect a kid to do. They both come in the movie theater, and immediately the phones pop out. They bring both of their phones out. They're, they're, when I'm watching the movie, I'm not looking at them, okay? But the reason I can tell the phones are out is because the, this, I can see the screens because everywhere else is, is black and then I'm in the movie, like, you know what I mean? Like, when you're watching the movie and you're, you're really invested, you don't see anything around you and then you see someone's screen pop up and then you see the screen pop up again. The person, she, she started, she turned around in her seat so her back was towards me. So now... Her back is towards me, but the phone is is right. It's pointed directly at me now. So now it's like I can't help but see the screen now. So I'm sitting down there. My cup again. I almost fell off the seat. Yeah. So I'm sitting down there, and and I'm like, wait. I'm, I'm just staring at the cars driving by. All right. So yeah, I'm sitting down there, and I'm like, uh. I was wondering if the person was gonna pull up beside me and do the parallel thing where they're looking right at me, and they literally did. I mean, I could slide forward, that's why I stopped before the line, but I don't wanna slide forward and then they see me. So, so I'm sitting down there. So I'm sitting down there, the person's sitting beside me, and she has, she has her phone facing towards me. So you think that's enough, right? No, no, it gets worse. She has the phone out, and she's like on Instagram, texting people, doing this. The girl sitting next to her, there's two of them. The other one, she starts taking pictures of the girl, the one sitting next to me. The thing is, I'm right behind her. So when she's taking the pictures, I'm, I know I'm, the, the, the girl isn't that big to block, completely block me out. But she can, um, I'm, I know I'm in the pictures. So now I'm at the movies, getting my picture taken by a stranger while I'm trying to watch a movie. So, you know I mean? so, so then you're like, oh man, you're still being over dramatic. She had the flash on. She had the flash on the camera. So every time she take the picture, all I would, first I'm seeing the, the other girl's screen. So it's a constant light. Then all of a sudden, every so often, there'll be this, this big bright light that would flash to the side of my face. And I would, I would have to, I would instinctively turn. Because you, you turn when you see a flash pop up. Can you just take a picture of you? So then I'm like, okay, so then, so like, yeah, I hit the movies. So anyway, so that long, so that, that's another story. But so, so me, I literally hate the movies. So then, so then, if if I don't go to the movie theater for a full year, the 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 film people don't make any, don't make a penny, right? They don't make a single penny off of me not seeing the movie. So now they got one hand, they got people that like the movie theater and they go and they pay and they see the movies. On the other hand, you got people that hate movies I, I the last movie i think i saw one movie this whole year or even last year i think last year i saw two movies i, I mean two movies on tv or on netflix like I, I don't even watch movies on netflix like i don't watch movies I, I really don't watch movies period or tv or anything but um but um i go and um the person just showed really fast by me so now i'm like paying attention because people are crazy out here but yeah, yeah, so like that, right? So now let's add another person. So you got Mr. Moviegoer that's supporting the industry. You got Mr. Hates Movies that doesn't do, that doesn't um, go to any movies or watch any movies or anything. Then you got Mr. Three 
This guy hates the movie theaters. He never goes to the movies. But he, if, if it's possible for him to see something for free, he'll see it. So he's, he's downloading movies illegally. So then you're like, so then right off the bat, your, your first instinct from hearing that should be, this guy's a thief, he's stealing. And that's good, you, sh- you should think that. But now, let's hear the flip side of it. If he can't find a movie, let's, let's say a new movie comes out, a movie's coming out, and he goes to his favorite illegal website to go and watch his movie for free, and the movie's not there, he doesn't watch it. Does he go to the movie theater and watch it? No. Does he, does he download it illegally and watch it? No. So both ways, the company, the movie companies are getting nothing because he's not going to see the movie and he can't steal it. So I, I don't see a difference between when he goes and he says, I really am not going to go pay and watch this movie. I don't care. But if it's online, I can click a button and see it. I'll see it. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't know. Because people like to say that that's stealing or whatever. Um, when I was younger, and now I'm like, now I'm like, um, about to like, no, no, no. Uh, now, when I was younger, there was this kid that was very similar to me that used to download games illegally, like download games or whatever, like for free and play them. But um, the thing was, I was little. Now nah, I just said I. <laughs> well, okay, I'm turning now like, like an idiot. Yeah. So um, yeah. So anyway, whatever. No one's watching this. So yeah. So when I was little, I used to um do that. I didn't have any money. I, I, I remember before I had a PSP, I used to take a sheet of loose leaf. I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> yeah, so this is the truth and stop sneezing. Yeah, I used to take a sheet of loose leaf. The person in front of me keeps tapping on their brakes. Yeah, I used, to, I used to have a sheet of loose leaf and then write down, like, on the top of the sheet, I would write music and then pretend, like, okay, so these are all the songs that I want on my PSP when I finally get one. And then I would go games. Like, these are the games that I want. And these are the pictures that I want, and these and this and this and this. Like I would literally have it all set up on this loose leaf because I didn't have any money. <laughs> and then when I finally got the PSP, I still didn't have a job, so then I had to um, get the games. Yeah, I had to get video games for it. So then, but that was because I didn't have money. Now I like video games. I like everything about video games. I buy. I think I buy a video game. At least, at least once a week. I have 362 purchases on my PS4. And it's only showing PS4 games. So that's not counting any Nintendo Switch games. That's not counting any PS3 games. That's, you know what I mean? It's not counting anything else. It's only counting PS4 games. And I have 362. So I don't know if, 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 if that shows anything. That if someone has disposable income or has the money... And if someone has the money for something and they like the thing and they're downloading it illegally, then I guess I could see a problem with that. But if someone likes the thing and they have the money for it, and they, they, they usually support it by paying for it. Because if you want to give an example, um, The Witcher 3 is like, if you look that up, even if you don't like video games, The Witcher 3 has like, like the sales were crazy. And it was like, it, it didn't have, the game didn't have any... Um, DRM on it so like that means that you could literally just download it if you could find a website you could download the game and play it perfectly fine there was nothing stopping you from doing that but some other games they'll have the DRM in it to stop you from pirating the game and then people just don't want it they don't want to steal it they don't want to download nothing but the Witcher I the Witcher I downloaded it illegally and paid for it I bought the Witcher yeah I, I, I downloaded it legally to test it and then I bought it so like I don't know, people like to say that no one does that. I do it. So uh, I don't know if I, and and the sales for the game prove that people are buying the game even though you can steal it. So yeah, so that's my two cents. Peace out. Peace out.